Hey guys, it's Emily, and today I want to show you how to use the Cozy Clicks of Photoshop Actions Starter Pack inside of Photoshop Elements. Now, let me know below what version of Photoshop are you using right now? Do you use Elements or Creative Cloud or an older version of Photoshop? I always like to know so that uh, we can create and develop actions that work for you. And for the longest time, we did not have actions that worked with Photoshop Elements, but we've recently developed them to work inside of Photoshop Elements. And that's what I want to show you today. So the first set I want to show you is our starter pack, which is our $7 action pack. And I will link to those in the description below and right here uh, at this link, you can also see the starter actions, but I've already loaded them inside of Photoshop Elements. And to load them, you just click on, well, first you would go to Window, Actions, click on these little lines right here. You'll go to load actions and then find where you downloaded the starter pack actions. Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to see they're all coming, going to come up here for you. There is a play all button, which I recommend starting with there so that you can kind of see the different looks. So there's 10 different full Photoshop actions five one-click finishes, which were created to let you just click and leave it alone. And then three brushes so that you can target different areas of your image to what you want it to look like. So let's start and I'm just gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna push the play all, make sure the background layer is selected and hit the play button. And you'll see all of your actions are starting to load up inside the layer panel. You'll also see that all of the eye icons are crossed out with a red line, which means that all of them are turned off right now. The play all button is made so that you can see what each one looks like. So I'm just going to move that over and then you can go through and turn each one on and see if you like the way it looks on your particular image. The starter pack is several different looks so that you can kind of see the style that you want to uh, attempt to recreate or master the style that you would you really like. So we've got the classic black and white here and I'm just clicking on these creamy black and white, old school, a vintage look, bold, whimsical, and I'm just clicking these on and off right now, you guys. You can open them up and adjust to your liking. There's light and airy. There is a color boost, a subtle matte, and a film look. Now in each of these, and I'll show you with film because the film is pretty intense when I look at it right now, you can open these layer, you can open them up and you can adjust the opacity of each one or you can go to just the film layer and you can adjust the opacity down so you get it to more of a natural look or more of a look that you like. So for this one right here, I might keep the film look at only a 50% opacity. So these are fun to play around with and see if you like the way it looks. You also, let me turn that one off. Let's say we really liked the subtle matte or you liked that, but I didn't like how matty it was on her face. You can click on the layer mask select a black brush. So let's pick a brush that is black. And with that layer mask highlighted, you're just going to brush off the areas where you don't want that action showing through. So if you don't like how much of the action is coming through, you're just going to brush it off right there. And you're going to see it in the layer mask too. You'll see a little black area where you erased. So those are the 10 actions that are included. But like I said, there's also the one click finishes. Those are meant to just click and leave. So let me turn that one off. I'm going to go back down to my background layer and I might just try to pretty in pink. So we're just going to go to pretty in pink, hit play, and it gives us a very beautiful, smooth pinkish filter. Okay. You could do that with warm. I'm going to hit click play on there. It's just one thing, nothing to open up and see. So I'm going to turn off pretty and pink so you can just see warm. And if you don't like a part of it, you can always click on the layer mask. You can brush it off certain areas. You can adjust the opacity either higher. I don't really like that or lower and get it to a look that you really like. So you're going to play around with those. Finally, the brushes. I'm going to go back to my background layer. There's a darkened brush, a lightened brush, and a color brush. So, for example, I might choose the lightened brush. 
Now this time you're going to see a black layer mask there. That means you're going to have to get a white brush and brush on the area. So I'm going to click continue here. Make sure that I've clicked on the layer mask. So see that blue is around the layer mask. I'm going to go to white and a brush. And this is my light brush, so it's going to make things lighter. So if I wanted my subject to be a little lighter and this image I would just brush on that area maybe I want some more of the background a little bit lighter so I would do that um, if I wanted to play the color brush this is going to boost a lot of the colors that are in the image so let's say I want maybe her dress a little bit redder I'm going to brush on with that color brush or maybe some of these colors in the background just giving it a little bit of a color boost in certain areas all right, I went through this really fast, you guys, um, and I didn't want to bore you going through this either, but I think it's a lot of fun. If you're new to Photoshop Elements, if you're new to Photoshop, this is also available in versions of Photoshop and Creative Cloud. It's a lot of fun to kind of play around with and see the looks that you can create on different images. So if you're interested, take a look below. You can uh, click the link in the description or just go to cozyclicks.com forward slash starter pack. Thank you guys for watching.